extra read all about it i'm debuting my new glasses <laughs> yeah i love them i'm geeking out about them totally so today is a very good day it is october 1st rabbit rabbit i hope we all said it first thing in the morning rabbit rabbit it brings in luck it brings in abundance and that's what we want to flow our way right our way right this is my channel, Born Without Boundaries. I am Michelle, for the people who are first arriving. Thank you so much for finding my channel. This is our daily tarot card reading. Um, general energies for all signs for October 1st, 2019. If you are on a platform that allows for commercials, there will be one coming up in a couple of seconds. I thank you so, so much for just having patience to wait through it. Go to the bathroom, grab some potato chips, Go get your breakfast. It's still early in the morning. Whatever we did as kids when our favorite sitcoms were interrupted <laughs> by commercials. Wade through it, and I'll see you in a couple of seconds. Now, for those of us who didn't have to wait, let's begin the reading. Oh, where are my cards? Hold on. Hiding in plain sight, clearly. This is the Talisman and Cauldron deck. Uh, created by my friend Laura and her partner China. Um, Laura owns Talisman and Cauldron is a spirituality store in Connecticut, in Derby, Connecticut. So if you're ever in the area, um, I'm happy to give you instructions or I'm happy to tell you how to buy this deck if you if you want. I'll give you the link. It has its own Facebook page. <laughs> All right. So today is a very very good day. Woke up refreshed and feeling great, and I have something to look forward to today. Scheduled myself a massage. Mm -hmm. Also, and this is why I scheduled myself a massage. Today is a very good day because I finished physical therapy yesterday. It was my last session and I have to continue to do the exercises, but I don't need to actually go anymore. And so I feel like it's another step up of completion for what I have gone through with my surgery that I still feel completely and totally blessed for. I was in from beginning to end hands of such amazing, um, capable people and I am very grateful for that. If I say three things that you're grateful for, the, off the top of my head would be the excellent job that my doctor did with my neck. The recovery period that I've experienced was exceptional. And I'm also extremely grateful and thankful for the fact that the hospital that I was in was such a lovely pl place to be and that the staff treated me so well. So many things that I'm grateful for, but I'm gonna start with those today to celebrate my graduation from physical therapy, and um, my beginning integration into trying to, you know, get back to my norm where I was before physically. So let's keep doing these general energies, general energies for October 1, 2019. October 1, 2019. Oh, two cards out. Judgment. Straight up. So this is a new life. The judgment card is really this. It's it's a uh, it's new life. It's if you look on the original tarot card, um, the original Rider Rider White deck, this was a um, this was depicted as the second coming, right? As as almost the rapture where the angels come back and resurrect the dead. So this is actually a whole new life beginning. This is being granted by God this opportunity to live again to be chosen, to be selected. So judgment is you've been judged as worthy. That's what the judgment card is. It's not just a judgment. We're making judgments every day. This is a very special brand of judgment. Reaping harvest for what we have, for what we've created, for what we've worked on. This is what we've cultivated. This card is waiting and being patient and believing that things are going to come to fruition. And following the judgment card, I'm having a feeling that it's got something to do. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, the emperor. The emperor. This is energy personified. That's what he is. It's masculine energy. Masculine as in progressive energy, aggressive energy, fire energy. This could represent the sign of Aries. But definitely this this energy could forge anything, could turn anything into metal and a firm constitution that will last. Okay, what's coming now? Ace of Swords. There's a lot of, there's a lot of conquest and happiness. At least in the beginning of today, there is success. This is 
to me, the aces are wonderful cards because this, they are success and prosperity that's given to you by the divine because you've worked so hard. Aces come after the 10. So after you've completed your cycle and what you can contribute, the ace is the divine gifting you with these rewards. So it's a reward for completion. It's a reward for um, commitment. It's a reward for staying the course. It's a reward from the heavens. This is triumph and victory. This always reminds me of Excalibur, but also this conduit of electricity that takes from the divine and then wields it into the 3D. Oh, great. Nine of Swords uh, reversed. For me, is coming out of this state of anxiety and depression. It's waking up. It's, it's basically your head or your mind turning right side up. Stress being over with, except an alleviation of stress, an alleviation of hurt, pain, suffering, sorrow, things that would keep you up at night. That's just the first half of the reading. <laughs> I don't know what the second half is going to be, guys. But what, what, what I always say, this is the 24-hour period, and we can get through anything. And yes, I do know that there are 24-hour periods that can change our lives. But we can get through that too. Okay. Suddenly the cards have gone silent. <laughs> I always wonder what they're going to say to me. October 1st, 2019. What is the general energy for today? So, um, <laughs> what did I say? It's like, I always got to wait. I always got to wait. This is the two of cups in reverse. So this is disconnection. This is sort of half-hearted connections. This is, yeah, like half-hearted, not really fully invested. Um, a union that didn't, that didn't matter. A union that was, was not successful. Sort of, how can I say it? Um, it's like a half-hearted connection. Not the, let's put it this way, not the right person. And that's the central reading. So, ooh. yeah, that's too, like, I don't, that's too many. That's, that's me. I'm going to put that all back. Because... Too many cards flying. Okay. So, Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups right after the Two of Cups. I will, I will spend some time to go over this as an entire reading. Just Ace of Cups is that reward, like the Ace of Swords, and it's sitting right under the Ace of Swords. I will do a card view for you guys. Um, Ace of Cups is that fulfillment, emotional fulfillment after all the trials of the cups, of the cups, right? Walking away with the Eight of Cups, being disillusioned <clears throat> or delusional with the Seven of Cups, um, the Five of Cups being disappointment, but also the Ten of Cups being happiness and joy and the Nine of Cups being wish fulfillment. In other words, all the experiences that you could go through emotionally, like after you've stayed the course, this is emotional fulfillment and abundance abundance where the divine is actually filling your cup because they're like you know what kid you got it you stayed the course and here's your abundance so this is once again emotional abundance okay moving away this could actually be movement or motion getting into motion, getting like reanimated. But for me, this card is physical movement, actually deciding to pack up and to leave and to go to a new place. That could be a new job for some people. It's usually not a new relationship. It's usually actual movement. The star card, our wishes have come true. This is also 
the uh, sign of Aquarius. Um, it represents truth. That's what it represents because that's what Aquarians at heart really are. They're the water bearers. That means the truth, the truth bearers. So that's what this is. This is the truth being exposed, being shown, being demonstrated, being revealed. The Knight of Swords. This is somebody who will defend you to their last breath. The Knight of Swords is somebody who fights on your behalf, who, who sticks up for you, um, who will say things in defense of you, who will once again deliver the truth um, for you. Wow, oh, this is a powerful reading. What a way to start October. is security stability um it could also be being greedy or being stuck in a mindset and it didn't really want to come out so i want to get another card that pops out and says look at me this is part of the message i want to i want to talk to you okay and this is what i got and i'm going to turn this around to show you the reading on the table so this is the ace of wands so this means, yes, success and victory. This is, to me, magic wand. Literally like you have created and manifested. This is the stamp of approval that the gods have come down and said, you know your idea? You know your idea that may have been stuck, you may have been waiting for, for a long time? You know that idea? That idea is now being brought to fruition. You could have been blocked by a lot of people, a lot of disconnection. Right, A lot of people not getting you, not understanding you, not connecting with you, but this is a message coming through from somebody that's like, that's beyond that. That's, oh my God, this is an amazing idea. This is a great concept. I, I want to work with you. You get the job. You, um, I'm looking up for my pigeons. Um, you are acknowledged now for something that other, that beforehand, just beforehand, people tried to shut you out of. Give me a second. I'm going to turn this around so you could see the cards. All right, everybody. So this is what I wanted to show you. You have three aces. We have three aces on the table. Okay. The Ace of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. Now what that does is it tells me that we have basically successfully accomplished everything that we needed to accomplish, everything that we were working hard on. If you can see over here, I'm going to move some of this out of your way. You can see over here, this is something that we've been working on a long time with the Seven of Pentacles. And the Seven of Pentacles is the only, the Seven of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles are the only pentacles on the, on the table. And it's the one pentacle, Ace, that is missing. So what does that tell me? It tells me that this, whatever we were working on, whatever we were manifesting, um, this has been basically judged as worthy. That everything has come through for you in terms of what the divine has set into place. In terms of the universe, the ether manifested, it's actually done. If you can imagine this reading as, um, you know, Harry Potter casting a spell. When you see that glow coming out of his wand. This reading is the glow that's coming out of the wand. What it, it has not done yet has hit the target. Now, in, when we look at things from fantasy movies like this, magic happens immediately. But magic in the 3D world is really what we call manifestation. It's taking our energy, the energy inside of us, the ideas and the words that we speak, and manifesting them into actual 3D resources, material items, and 3D success. So that's what manifestation is really just slow-moving magic. That's what it is. 
And so this story today on October 1st, what a very good day it is, is telling us about something that we, is telling us about our manifestation has happened. The magic and energy is there and it has been cast. The lack of the Ace of Pentacles is an indication that it just has not yet hit the target. Not yet, but it's going to hit the target. Like I said, it's almost like if we took that, that magic, that, that blast of light from the wand and we just suddenly, as soon as he cast the spell, slowed it down into slow motion. This, it's not that it's not going to miss the target. In fact, this is a guarantee that it's going to hit the target, right? And that it's got plenty of energy and that it's got plenty of blessings and plenty of energy to hit the target. You see, like this is almost taking the energy from the ether, putting it into the cup, filling it with abundance, and then bam, rooting it on the earth. It has arrived on the earth, but the actual pentacle has not yet manifested. Why? Because manifestation is a slow moving progress. It's slow moving. But this is like the reading that says, you're guaranteed, kid. You're guaranteed. It's in like Flynn. This is it. The judgment has been made in your favor. And the judgment says, you get the big ticket. You get to go to heaven. That's what it's saying. And this is heaven on earth. These, these cards, to me, indicate this reversal and this being present is telling me the center of this reading is, has been failed attempts. The center of this reading has been, um, you know, uh, connections that didn't work, Had, has been faith through connections that didn't work connections that just that just would not come to fruition it just couldn't happen it just it's like it, it like it couldn't be in other words there were reasons for the lack of connection and the reasons were the moment wasn't right the moment is right now everything that has to be here to bless you is here the star card is here wishes fulfilled all the connections, it's basically a statement of, you know, all those people who told you no, all those people who told you no, told you no, because they had to get the fuck out of the way for the people who were about to tell you yes, because these people weren't the right people that, that these disconnections were all part of this divine plan to put you and align you with the right, the right people, the right person, the right opportunity. And if you could see in these, this disconnection, these two people don't look like people. They actually look like cups, right? Just rooting themselves in the divine and being ready to be filled. When the time is right, the time wasn't right. So what does that mean for today? Today is a very good day to know that everything has gone your way. The abundance may not arrive by 11.59 p.m. on October 1st. But it is well on its way. And there's an indication that it's on its way, not from somebody from a past, but in a circumstance where there had been no's. There had been, we're not moving, no movement. There had been disconnect. There had been things not working. There was disconnect. There was, in other words, people not getting you and saying, no, you're not worth the investment. It's not stable enough. And now the message is coming in from somebody finally that says, we get you. We understand you. This is where you belong. Like you can imagine this rooting itself, growing, growing and manifesting from the divine. This is where you belong. Like this is where you root. This is, this is where you stay. This is where, um, Really, the manifestation starts to grow. If you can imagine, it's almost like the seed has just started to, to bloom. Just springing up from the dirt. So this is telling me, yes, your wishes are fulfilled. You have gotten rejected time and time again. And the rejection, actually, you turned your brain probably upside down and said, you know, the, in other words, at least this is a message of understand that all the rejections you're experiencing, you're experiencing because they're not the right thing for you. You're not experiencing it because the divine is saying, no, this is a bad idea or that you don't deserve to be loved. It's not that. 
you're being rejected because it's not the right thing for you. It's not the right thing for you. It's not the right place for you. It's not the right people for you. It's not the right time. What is right and what is correct is that you absolutely do deserve all this beautiful abundance. And where there has been a stop and where there has been a stuck and stagnation, maybe the secret is moving. Moving, moving on. Moving on and keep going. Because there is somebody that's going to get you and defend you and come in and clear the way for you. To, yes, financial stability. But there's more than that. There's more than that. This is almost like the curmudgeon card. Kind of being stuck because of finances. Today, you're going to be unstuck. Could very well be movement in finances at the very least today. Today you're going to get unstuck. How? I don't know. Paying a bill, paying that last payment to something, um, being able to make a payment when you couldn't in a long time, or basically having people who have constantly, exper having experience that have constantly said no, we don't get you, we don't get you, we don't get you. Now they're finally getting you. There's finally motion here. And there's a message here that demonstrates it. It could be a message from, you know, the universe, you know, a, a feathers falling, numbers. But it, this is usually an actual message, like receiving actual um, communication for an opportunity, a breakthrough. This is a night that breaks through. He just doesn't let anything get in his way and following the star card this is a major breakthrough of, of a stop of a situation where you had been stuck this is a major breakthrough this is an indication for some of you some of you will just have to move and maybe that's the breakthrough for some of you like you've been waiting for information on a house to come through or you've been waiting to find the right place to move to and you finally make that breakthrough and realize which direction you need to go in. Because this is about taking action. This is about you finally finding a direction that you need to go in. And getting unstuck. Overall, in general, this is a communication of all of those disconnects, all of those um, misconnections have been for a reason. And they've been for a reason to continue this flow. Yes, 100%. This is the right thing that's happening to you. It's the right thing because it's moving you in the right direction. Today really is an extremely good day. Hold on. Okay. So, you know, back again. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I wake up in the morning and I do these right at the top of my morning. Why? Um, you know, sometimes if I, if I have a lot to do guys, I will definitely record it ahead of time, but I like to be in the energy when I communicate it to you. So, um, I just enjoy it more. I actually miss, I, I feel like my day hasn't begun if I don't have this time with you guys. So today is an exceptional good day because it's a breakthrough and it could come in the form of mental clarity of realization of getting unstuck mentally so that you can get unstuck financially and finding the way through. This is it. This is your director. This is your uh, GPS finally working. This is a bam, cutting through and finally knowing what direction you have to go in in order to manifest all that you want to manifest. Today is an exceptional day. Today is a very good day. Rabbit, rabbit, everything really is going your way. I'll talk to you guys in a bit.